so hello everyone my name is ravindra i welcome you to this channel okay recently microsoft announced the general availability of built in dataverse offline for a canvas app okay on the 19th march okay this is a very good feature i just tried and it is very easy to use okay so i just demonstrate you we will see how mobile offline for canvas app optimize your app for mobile offline turn on offline capabilities for tab tables turn on offline capabilities for your app create a mobile offline profile create an offline canvas app how to create the base offline user experience export a solution that contain a canvas app enable for offline and the limitations that you should know before using the canvas offline app and also how to use files and images in an offline feature so these topics we are seeing in this video so here i just came on the microsoft power apps okay if you you and canvas controls okay basic offline first app are easy to make just build your app with normal power effects formulas and power app offline feature handles everything very easily so simply i just click on the start with copilot okay and let's we create one app from the blank okay so simply i just click on the start with the copilot here we just give an any idea just create enrollment simply here we just type create an app for student enrollments okay so copilot will create one application for us okay it is just creating a table for us okay uh, i not uh, going in depth in this case i just uh, showcasing you okay in up okay because the uh, important thing is not to how to create the app by using copilot we are seeing how to create offline app okay so let's simply create the app okay our app is creating it takes some time so still the time i am offline okay i will cut this video and get you back when you can see our app is created okay name of the app is student enrollment and our table name was student enrollment okay and table is our data wars table in this case okay so let's see what are the prerequisites to be how to follow okay so simply just go to the these three dots okay in that go to the settings the settings in the general settings okay here one feature is provided can be used offline okay so this feature should be turned on and a selected offline profile for now we just keep it auto generated and also we can create our own profiles as well okay if uh, we have on the basis of security rules okay if you want this video okay how to create uh, auto generated profile you just comment it down below okay according to that i will create this video for you as well, okay after that in this uh, other features are not that much required okay but these two features like can be used offline turn it on and select profile if you created any profile you can be select here okay then go to the um, upcoming features okay in the upcoming features simply just scroll it down and here explicit explicit column section uh, option is present okay you can see i just literally zoom it out so this optimize the load times to reduce memory consumption by only fetching columns used in your app and targeted data source must support in this feature so this feature you also have to turn it on within this feature you can <clears throat> only load that features that table data that are required for our app okay after that <clears throat> for using this feature you must have the role in your environment that is system administrator or system customizer okay to set up offline mode for an canvas app okay so these two roles are required to create an offline 
canvas app okay and if you not have those roles okay so you have to create a custom role from admin center you can simply just create that roles okay uh, if you want to video on this also you can just comment it down below i just create one for you okay this video purpose is just showcase you how to create offline app okay not to showcase the role after that <clears throat> the third prerequisite is user with basic role can open an offline application you must create custom suite role with read privilege on canvas app and mobile offline profile tables okay so these two things you have to keep in mind uh, for the roles okay first one is you required system customizer or system administrator role and if you not have so you have to create a custom role for your users okay this some of the prerequisites you required and also the last one uh, this con entire package okay let's i save that this entire package should be in the solution okay so this four thing you have to keep in mind while creating an offline application okay so let's we add this app in our solution so simply i just go create one more temp here so simply i just came to the solution page click on the new solution and you want the name of your solution and simply let's create our solution by simply clicking on the create so our solution is creating and we will add our app this app okay and run solution simply add click on the add existing here one is app canvas app so simply i search so simply i search for an app let me search student registration app okay so simply let's we add our app here so our app is added into a solution you can see here so we are added our app into a solution okay so one more prerequisite is required okay to enable this okay for that i just created new tab and then to the table section in our power app and let's open our table student registration application okay so simply i just click on the properties okay so all the properties that are related to our table we showcasing here so click simply on the advanced option okay and here one option is showcasing can be taken offline so simply just click on the <clears throat> this option and save save our table so all the prerequisites okay that's are mandatory we are done okay only the one thing okay that is auto generate a profile is remaining okay but it is not mandatory to do this for now <coughs> for now our app is um ready to take the offline okay in the mobile as well as tablet in the desktop version as well okay so also microsoft provided us the template for this part uh, for the option also if you are adding existing app okay simply just scroll it down and here is one template is provided offline data sync okay so by using this feature you can simply sync the data of offline app okay in this uh, icon okay all the important formula is provided here you can be see so there is no need to uh, worry about this okay <clears throat> now the last point um how to configure the files okay and how to add the files so for that purpose let's we go to an environment sim
so simply you have to go to the admin center okay if we have the separate team in the admin center just store that to um, enable the mobile configuration for our app okay if you not have so you have to do this okay so simply i just go to the environments okay let's check my environment here is my default environment is present okay so in the environment section or all environments are loading so simply i just select the default environment go to the setting menu okay the settings we have users and permissions here okay so simply open that in that we have the mobile configuration so simply just click on that mobile configuration <coughs> came to this of mobile offline profiles okay we just simply generate auto generated and simply just click on the new profile click here okay fine and we can give some description and other things so simply just click on the create so new profile is generated and this is in unpublished state okay so we have to publish this okay so then we can be able to select that so this is publish now you can be see and we can be easily use this profile in our any table so after creating new profile you can simply click on the okay and here you can be add the table if you wants to add the images okay so in that case we have to so in the student re registration we have to add this table here okay and in this case let's we click on the all rows and let's click on the save so table is added here successfully and now we let's add the user okay simply let's we add my email id so we need right sadhu vzttp and just click on the save so we are added the my role as well and as well as the table as well so if we go in the power apps okay in the setting section okay the general here if we refresh the icon here we can be see the new profile and we can select that okay so now i just select the new profile where i create a secret role for that and simply just click on the save and uh, here your offline canvas app is ready to use okay you can be use this application okay so simply it will automatically sync okay when network is connected if you have any doubt while creating offline application you can drop in the comment box i will be there to help you out okay thank you friends have a nice day keep learning keep growing